Social security checks are expected to jump and there's one state that is offering $1,500 stimulus checks to their residents, but you have to act fast because it ends July 22nd. Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another show. I hope that you guys are having a very great day today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Can you believe that social security checks are actually going to go up? They're expected to go up. They're expected to get more money and why not? Inflation has gone up. Why haven't these checks gone up? Well, check this article out that simply states social security checks expected to jump next year. Now we all know that you could use more money. You're on a fixed income and it's not your fault that grocery prices are so high or that you have to pay so much for gas if you drive, but yet you can't expect, for example, to make $500 and every daily essential goods go up to 700 bucks. You just don't make enough. Now we know from a video that I posted a long time ago that there was a senior that after he got his fixed income check that he literally had no money to eat food with and it shouldn't be like that in this country but yet again I'm hoping that they get things together just so that way you guys can get the help that you need now of course on this channel we are neutral but yet again people don't want Joe Biden or Donald Trump running again for president. Now, is that you? Is Are you one of the viewers that say, you know what, it's time for somebody new. Maybe bring some new things, mindset, changes, uh, thoughts, planning into the White House instead of using somebody that you know we've already had. Now again, many of you guys are like, no, bring Trump back. Gas was like $2 and we can definitely go for that. But guys, let us know down in the comments below what you think on that subject. Now, if you have been on this channel for just a little bit, you know that we do a ton of giveaways. We're doing a $250 giveaway for two lucky subscribers. We're also doing a $100 Visa gift card giveaway, and all you have to do is smash that like button and comment the word Visa gift card. All the information for the $250 dollar giveaway is down below. So now let's talk about stimulus. Stimulus update. Eligible residents of this state have until July 22nd to claim a check worth up to $1,500. Now right there, I wish that every state would offer a $1,500 check to their resident, but this is just one state that's doing it. And it's not really to everybody, but they are saying that if you want to take advantage, then you need to go ahead and get things moving before July 22nd, because after that you lose your chance to get the money. Now, with states like Texas and Arkansas. Texas has literally been on the fence about sending out stimulus checks. Believe it or not, they really are. But the thing is this, they really haven't sat down together to, to really put a number with the amount that's going on a check to you guys. Everything would be automatic and literally it would be for those on low income, those on a fixed income, those that are struggling. But once they provide more information, we will get you that news. So going back to who gets the $1,500, who is eligible and which state is offering it. So if we look here, are you eligible to claim your share of the state's stimulus money? A number of states are providing stimulus money to their residents. Minnesota is one of them. States residents who worked during the pandemic may be entitled to as much as $1,500. If you look here on the screen, who is eligible for the $1,500 stimulus payments? Well, according to this Duluth News Tribune, the state of Minnesota is offering pandemic bonuses to people who worked when the risk of getting COVID was at its peak. A total of $500 million has been allocated and the money is expected to be distributed to as many as 667 thousand pandemic workers including meat packing professionals janitors teachers healthcare workers those who continue their job during the high risk period of the pandemic 
will be eligible if they made under 85,000 as a single tax filer who did not work directly with COVID patients or made 175,000 as a single filer who did work with COVID patients. Though worked a minimum of 120 hours between March 15, 2020 and June 30th, 2021, they did not receive more than 20 weeks of unemployment benefits. So these individuals are eligible for up to a $1,500 stimulus check bonus. And it's those again, who were meatpacking, professionals, janitors, teachers, healthcare workers. Now we know that yet I believe everybody should get a stimulus check. We know people need it. We know gas is still high. We know food is still high. In fact, people are literally fighting back those that own stores and own uh, grocery stores. They're fighting back against inflation. And there is even one guy who got charged because he was actually charging people a good price for gas. And everybody was like, what are you doing? If we're charging 450, you have, you have to charge 450. And it was a big debate. What happened to the good old days where Americans helped each other out? Guys, there is so much more news on stimulus. I will be updating you here soon. We are doing research to make sure that you stay up to date on what's going on. If you have any questions, if you really want to ask about your state, let us know down in the comments below. We would love to help you guys out. I know that Arkansas, somebody asked about Arkansas. They have not proposed anything as of yet. Texas, again, is still on the fence. Florida, well, we're not going to talk about that because they haven't done anything. But then again, guys, there are so many states that are. So if you haven't seen your state or you're curious, go check out my last video because there are states, there are 14 states offering stimulus checks that have been approved. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And until next time, I'm John Muir. Peace.